I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. At Tuesday's Senate Appropriations Committee hearing, Senator Tammy Baldwin questioned Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin on the U.S. response if Putin used tactical nuclear weapons. Secretary Austin said that the international response would be, quote, significant. Take a listen to his full response here. Senator Baldwin. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Secretary Austin, uh, welcome. Uh, uh, a healthy defense industrial base is a critical element for our national security. And President Biden uh, issued an executive order on Janu in January of 2021 to strengthen Buy America requirements for all federal programs. In July, a uh, notice of proposed rulemaking increased the domestic content requirement from 55% to 60%, with a phased-in increase to 75%. This is a move I strongly support. However, I know from the experience with the Navy's new frigate that if we require 100% American-made within a reasonable timeline, industry can step up and deliver. With the frigate, this actually resulted in the onshoring of new U.S. manufacturing. So do you support replicating this success for other defense programs with the goal of hitting 100% American made so long as the department has reasonable timelines and reasonable waivers at their disposal. Yeah, I, I absolutely support uh, making sure that where we can, uh, we, we invest in America, that we, uh, we you know, make sure that uh, we have the supply lines uh, available to uh, to do the things that you just described. And so you're right, with, the president has an initiative that he launched uh, uh, a while back, and DOD is a, is a strong partner in that, uh, in that initiative uh, to ensure that we strengthen our supply lines, that we, uh, we make sure that, uh, that we have the critical materials available to, uh, to, to build and, uh, the types of uh, munitions and, and platforms that we think we'll, we'll need uh, going forward. So yes, I, I support that. Thank you. Uh, General Milley, uh, I understand you had a version of this question uh, asked already, so I'm going to try to take it in a, a, a little bit different direction. But uh, Ukraine has far exceeded most expectations um, over, two, uh, over two months into this most recent phase of Putin's war. I support providing the Ukrainians with the capabilities that they need to defend their sovereignty and hope that we can quickly pass a Ukraine supplemental that fulfills uh, President Biden's request. It's clear that this conflict may extend for some time. As you talk with uh, Ukrainian counterparts, um, I know you've been asked what a realistic end state is for Ukraine. I'd like to ask a little differently is, what it does a real, realistic military success or at, end state look like for the United States? And um, how will our security assistance need to change at this new phase in order to support those goals? Thanks, Senator. The, the end state has been articulated by the President, Secretary of Defense, Secretary Blinken, several different times. And what it is is uh, maintain the cohesion of NATO, uh, make sure that Ukraine at the end of the day ends up as a free sovereign nation with the territorial integrity intact. Uh, no kinetic war between NATO and the United States and Russia. Uh, so no action between our military forces specifically. Uh, and continue to support the Ukrainian people with what they need to defend themselves. Uh, so that's what we're trying to do. Uh, and we need to, uh, at the end of the day, w you know, what's it all about? It's all about uh, the rules-based international order has been grossly violated by Russia with an illegal aggressive action by military forces across the sovereign border. Uh, we have had a institution, set of institutions in place for 78 consecutive years to prevent that very thing from happening. Uh, and that's what's at stake. It's beyond Ukraine is what's at stake. And our intent is to maintain and uphold the rules-based international order by achieving those specific objectives the President's given us. Thank you. Um, so, uh, Secretary Austin, on this topic, some analysts believe that the more we assist uh, Ukraine in degrading Putin's military, the more likely he will be uh, uh, to escalate to new levels, uh, possibly with chemical, biological, or even tactical nuclear weapons. 
Can you clarify how this might change the calculus that uh, General My Millie was just uh, uh, outlining um, in terms of use of force from the U.S. military? Yeah, there are a number of things that, uh, that Mr. Putin uh, could do. He, you could make the case, by the way, Senator, that he's already escalated uh, in terms of the yep. types of things that uh, we see him doing and in, in attacking uh, civilians, uh, destroying cities, towns, and villages, uh, indiscriminate targeting. Um, certainly, he has a number of things that he could do. He could, uh, you know, escalate by uh, conducting a... Uh, a cyber uh, event, or uh, we, you know, there's been a lot of talk about the uh, possible employment of uh, uh, ChemBio. Uh, of course, he, if he employs a chemical, biological, or uh, weapon, uh, I think he will see a reaction from the international community, uh, and because that's a, that's a pretty serious uh, step. And 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 of course, uh, you know, President Biden's been clear about uh, about you know his uh, his views on this. So uh, it, it's, it's possible that he could do that. Uh, I, uh, I certainly hope that, uh, that he chooses to not do that. Again, I think the international response will be uh, significant. But you know, Senator, he could end this war today. Yes. Uh, he could, uh, he could, he, he chose, this is a war of choice. Uh, he could choose to, uh, to stop fighting and withdraw his forces from, uh, from Ukraine. Uh, and again, this is, this is the decision of one man. And so, I would hope that Mr. Putin would uh, decide to do something different going forward. Yes, and I just want to close with, uh, should uh, uh, Putin continue to escalate, is it your expectation that the administration would come to Congress requesting an authorization for use of military force? Uh, that's a policy decision that, I'll, that my boss will make, and, uh, and so I won't get in front of my boss. So. <laughs>